Hi everybody, my name is Jim with Fulman Adventure Club. And today we're just doing a real fun video. It's not sponsored by anybody. It's not a review video of anything. I'm just gonna be using some spare parts that I have. So it's kind of DIY. The problem was that I have a, a Jeep that I use to haul water and we don't use it all that often. It has a really cheap battery in it. That battery is starting to go. And so if I didn't drive it every two days, it was completely dead and I'd have to jumpstart it every time. And that was getting annoying and I don't wanna go spend another $100 on a battery right now. So I thought, why don't we try and add some solar to it? Make a little trickle charger um, out, of, out of that solar panel. Um, so basically I had half of a solar briefcase left over. It was a solar briefcase, you know, 60 watt, 60 watt makes 120. Half of it shattered in shipping, so they let me keep it. So I stuck it in the garage. I'm just gonna use that one half. It's a 60 watt panel, but you could definitely get away with like a 20 watt panel, um, no problem. You really don't need a lot when you're doing just a trickle charge to make sure that your battery's gonna start and run for you when you need it to. So this is a bit overkill, but um, I think you'd get away with like a 20 watt panel. This is a 60. Why don't I just jump out there? It's been two weeks, so I know it wouldn't have started for sure. And we'll see how that uh, setup's doing and I'll walk you through it. So I haul water with this Jeep and the battery was really cheap when I bought it about a year ago and it's already starting to go out on me. If I left this without driving it for more than two, three days, it was always dead. I mean, just completely dead. So I added this little solar panel on top with a charge controller. And it's been sitting here for two weeks now. We're gonna give it a shot here. Yes, sir. All right, guys, so this is actually um, the second part of a solar briefcase that one of the halves broke and shattered, so they just let me keep it. And so that's just half of it, and I had it laying around. It's a 60 watt panel, um, 18 volts, or I think it might be 12, I think it's 18. But all I did is I just stuck that up on the roof rack, zip tied it down so it's nice and secure, it's not gonna slide anywhere or go anywhere. And then I ran the wires um, just directly through the door weather stripping. And if you're worried about leaks, of course, feel free to run this any way you want, but this way I don't have to poke holes in the Jeep. And um, I haven't had any issues with leaks so far, and it's a beater Jeep, so I'm not too worried about it. This is just a really quick and dirty solution, so I don't have to go buy another $100 battery. And um, that, that wire goes into this little tiny eight amp solar charge controller, and it's just an eight amp. It's real, real lightweight, real flimsy. I've had it for like seven years. It's a nature power, and it went to a solar panel that uh, no longer works. And so that charge controller goes into the positive and negative power supply wires for my amplifier to the stereo because those wires run through the firewall to my battery directly and they already have a fuse installed so I was able to cheat um, some of that work um, but you could run yours straight to the battery you're just gonna have to use a fuse and I'll I'll go over that here more in a second let's see what we're getting just in the shade and that that panel is pretty much a lot of shade and we're getting 0.4 amps and believe it or not guys parked up here where it is that's enough because it started right up so let's check this guy out in full sun here. So we do have it in full sun. Again, I've had no problems with leaks. It's been about two weeks now using this guy. Goes to the charge controller, it's working just fine. And that goes to the positive and negative of the amplifier, which goes to the battery. Now in full sun, we're getting three amps, which is more than enough to keep a battery charged with any kind of vampire draw. It'd even be enough to charge a dead battery given enough time. Three amps is a pretty decent amount. And again, those wires just go straight to the battery. But if you were gonna connect it yourself and run it all the way to your battery, you'd have to put this fuse right next to the battery of the appropriate size. So that's it guys. I just wanted to show you that really quick and dirty simple project that's been working great for me. The Jeep always starts now and I don't have to spend the $100 on a battery for a while. And I just wanted to show you how easy it can be. Of course, you can get away with a 20 watt panel. They even sell 20 watt trickle battery trickle charger panels that you can just put in your dashboard and plug into your cigarette lighter and stuff. But I just threw this one together with spare parts. Pretty much any charge controller that handles an amp is gonna work for you. And um, the only thing that I would caution you against is uh, make sure that if you're running this directly to the battery, that you have a fuse right by the battery on the positive side, as close to the battery as you can, that matches the gauge wire that you're running back to your charge controller or anything else. That way, if anything gets pinched or shorted, it's not gonna melt that wire and possibly cause a fire. Fuses are always a good thing, but other than that, this is really simple, guys, and I just kinda wanted to show you, you can throw it together and it's not rocket science. So I hope you enjoyed it. It's been working good for me. Um, if, if you did enjoy it, please like, share, subscribe because that really helps me out. My name is Jim with Fullman Adventure Club and until the next time, thanks so much for watching guys and happy camping.